Welcome to an overview of the Twisted Extrude add-on for Blender, which creates a twisted extrusion effect on faces and is useful for quickly creating curled geometry like pipes, tendrils and more abstract effects. This video will show you how to install and use the add-on, some tricks to try and show it animated using Blender's Animation Nodes add-on. Available from Blender Market, a link to the add-on is in the description. To install the add-on, go to Edit – Preferences. Select the Add-ons tab on the left if it is not already. Select the Install button along the top. This will open a file dialog where you should navigate to where you have downloaded the Twisted Extrude zip file. This file should not be unzipped. Then click the Install Add-on from File button. Search for the add-on by typing Twisted Extrude into the search box if it does not already appear. Make sure the checkbox next to the entry called Mesh Twisted Extrude is ticked. With that, you should be good to go. Let us know if you have any issues via Blender Market. Let's get started with just the default cube. In Face Edit mode, select the top face and press F3 to search for Twisted Extrude. Select the menu item, then move the mouse to make the initial extrusion. By default, the extrusion is twisted at 45 degrees. Then press the mouse button and a minimised side menu will appear where you can change the parameters. You can then control the number of subdivisions or steps in the twist and the amount using the twist rotation parameter along the Z axis. By default, the face will be twisted along its normal or in other words, the direction of the face. You can also tweak the X and Y parameters to get different effects. You can control the amount or transformation of the extrusion using the Twist Transform option. By default, this transformation is along the normal and rotation of the twist. You can also use the taper setting to make the extrusion have a tapered effect. When selecting multiple faces, you have several options for how the twist effect is applied from the menu. By checking Extrude Individual Faces, the twisted extrude is applied either to the group of select faces or individually. The Shrink Fatten option will extrude the faces along their vertex normals. By changing the orientation options with Extrude Individual Faces turned on, you can get some interesting effects. Here, Twisted Extrude is used on a standard icosphere object. Change the twist rotation X and Y settings to 20 and the individual extrusions start to bend in on each other. Change the orientation to local and the faces will start to twist in the same direction because the twist is using the local axis to pivot on. Change this back to normal and then change the twist transform X and Y settings to 2 the twist will start to bend in the other directions, offset from the original face. Reset X and Y to 0 and increase the Z direction to 20. Some interesting effects should emerge. Playing with the taper settings, you might get something similar to a grass or hair effect. See the Blender Market page for screenshots with even more settings. The add-on also has preset functionality, so you can save favourite settings. Finally, the effect can be animated using the freely available Blender Animations Nodes add-on. With this add-on also enabled, Twisted Extrude can be used as an animation node. In this example, Twisted Extrude is plugged into an animation node scene, also made available with the add-on and the frame number is used to control the rotation of the twist. The rotation orientation is set to local in the advanced settings in the properties panel. Here you can see the final animation produced where the tendrils of the object twist in on each other. Further documentation is available from the Blender Market page linked in the description with even more examples of the effects you can achieve. If you have any questions or comments please let us know. Like and subscribe to this channel for even more updates on this and other add-ons by Mark Kingsnorth. Thanks for listening.